Juice. Behold my cool star while I greet the funk with my mom. The incredible, lyrical, and original. Behold my cool star while I greet the funk with my mom. The, the, the incredible. Behold my cool star while I greet the funk with my mom. <laughs> The, the incredible Behold my cool star while I beat the funk with my mom. The incredible lyrical and original. What we all here to do is to sharpen our people up, get them um, ready for war. And the war is, is with the knowledge and understanding and wisdom. So today, we're going to give you the wisdom and understanding of our power. So can you read that, Michael? Read that again? Yeah. Over 27, 17, iron, sharpen it, iron. So a man sharpen it, the countenance of his friend. That's right. So we are here to sharpen everybody up with the color. Now we're going to read Hebrews 8 and 8. Book of Hebrews, chapter 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them, finding fault with our ancestors and with our people, read, he said, he said, the most I said, a what? Read, behold, behold, the days come, today, it is now, read, say it, the Lord, say it, your whole heart, yeah. read, when I will make a new covenant, a new Kawanatoma, read, with the house of Israel, the house of Igara, read, and with the house of Judah, with the house of Waitahamal, we not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers, not like the kawa that Maui gave unto to our tupuna. We're here to give you a new kawa. We in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, out of the land of slavery and bondage, as we know as the Maori club. He got us out of that, and that's why we're here. So we're here to teach the kawa. So go to 28, Proverbs 28, verse 4. Book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 4. Read, they that forsake the law, praise the wicked. So if you forsake the kawa, if you want to forsake the kawa, you praise the wicked. You let the wicked oppress our people by praising, by not keeping the call. Read. But such as keep the law, contend with them. That's how we contend against the oppressors. We, tend, we, can, we contend against the oppressors with the color. Read that one more time for the people. They that forsake the law, praise the wicked. But such as keep the law contend with them. And that's how we contend with them. And we are our head of sharp news up by knowing this color. So the most high asks us a question. It's in uh, Psalms 94 verse 16. This is the book of Psalms chapter 94 verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? So who will rise up for the Most High? Who will rise up for righteousness and truth? Who will keep the color? Read. Oh, who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? So who's going to keep the color? Who's going to rise up for us? We are. The Kaitoni Formodia. We're out here to sharpen you up. We're the brothers to sharpen our brothers. Where that steel, it can sharpen up steel. These are all blunt at the moment. Rusty. You have forgotten thy way. Can you give me a book of uh, Isaiah 58 and 1? Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgression, 
in the house of Jacob their sin. So we are here to cry aloud, spare not, lift up our voice like a trumpet, and we're here to show the house of Israel, known as Ezekiel, and the house of Jacob their sins and their transgressions. And we're going to go to 1 John 3 and 4. John chapter 1 verse 3 chapter 3 verse 4 chapter 3 verse 4 whoever committed sin say they all call us sinners so he's got to know what sin is we transgress also the law for sin is the transgression of the law so sin is the transgression of the law the most high arts who will rise up for me to contend against the evildoers. And the Most High told you, if you want to contend against the evildoers, keep the kawa. Because that's how you contend against the evildoers. Read it one more time. Whoever, so whoever, whosoever committed sin, transgresses, but also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. So by us not keeping the kawa, we're in sin. And that's simple. If you don't want to be a sinner, come back to the power. So we need to keep the power to contend against the wicked inventions. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. So he who forsake the Lord, who if you are transgressed the law, if you're not keeping the law, and the churches teach that we're all sinners because we don't keep the law, read this. But if any man be a worshipper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. Start again. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshipper of God, and do it as well. Him he heareth. So the most high hears our voice. The most high hears our cries. Our men right here because we keep the color. And, the, and we're not sinners no more. Convince, convince us of sin. Okay? And if you're a sinner, the most high doesn't hear your voice. You think you have a relationship with the creator and you're a sinner? You don't even keep his commandments and his color?